I want to highlight this part of the vlog to point out this is my point. Brand partnerships. See? Look, look, look. What is this right here? Look at that. They kind of just were like deadpan going through everything else. And then as soon as we get, we want to highlight these sponsorships. So girl, DM me. This was bullshit. This is exactly what I have been pointing out to you this entire time is that Alicia's management doesn't care about anything but sponsorships and sponsorships that make them money. They don't give a shit about your analytics. They go over them, but they really don't care. They're not showing you how to actually connect with your audience. That's what I want to help you with. You know, you catch a lot of things when you watch shit back and you're not actually there being manipulated. We have a lift Bitches. Dating guys having smacks. She didn't lose her V card to dance. To, what? To, she didn't lose her V card to dance. What? No. What? We saw how so so what? Oh, what? 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 Nope. 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 No, that didn't happen. Oh damn! I thought nope. that was what? The I told you <laughs> what? I'm I'm here doing my hair and my makeup. I'm. Brushing out my wig and I'm listening to Fancy on here talk about Gypsy didn't lose her V card to Nick. Oh my God. I feel like the fantasy's been ruined or something. What the f- So I'm listening to this. I guess Gypsy, Gypsy didn't lose her V card to uh, Nick there. I'm gonna plug in my hot, my hot iron here while I talk to you. Gypsy didn't lose her V card to Nick apparently. She uh, she lost it to someone else. She was running around with like some cosplay group and having smacks. What the hell is that? That that is some shit. What the hell? We have been tricked. I thought Gypsy lost her fee card to Nick in the bathroom handicap stall in the Cinderella. What? The is this is crazy. So yeah, I am. <sighs> Getting ready for the day. I still haven't edited my video from yesterday, but I figured when I'm done with this, I'd do it. But I was just listening to that. This is on someone else's channel. Is it Fancy is on Extended, Excited Utterance? What is this? Excited Utterance. Utterance is the name of the channel. I don't know. It's going to be on your playlist. But yeah. Wow. There's some serious shit there with Gypsy. I'm telling you, there is some serious shit there. Like, what the? F and they're talking about the medical fraud and how the doctor, the doctor that treated her in Missouri has supposedly lost all his records. Well, he didn't lose his records from Katrina when he moved to Missouri. He moved to Missouri before Katrina, and then after Katrina, uh, I guess Gypsy and her and Dee Dee were just like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. Let's hook up back with the doctor. What's his name? He moved to New Missouri. Let's move to Missouri. And he's like, yeah, come on down. I'll help you get a Habitat house. What? 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 Oh, my God. Wow. Jesus. So yeah, it's Friday. I got laundry going. Getting my hair did. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing a freaking beanie on top of this because, you know, this isn't the best wig to just wear on its own. But it looks really cute with like a beanie or a hat. So just kind of flat iron it a bit because I feel like it starts to, you know, the more I wear it, the more frizzy it gets on the end and stuff. And I feel like just flat ironing it a little bit. Kind of smooths it out a little bit. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. I've just been watching that. People talking about the, the Chiefs fans. That's sad. That's sad. It's sounding like they got a bad batch or something. Who knows whether it was that Jordan dude who did it or not. But I... Wow, Gypsy lost her V-card not to Nick. 
And then, like, what? Why are we being told that story then? Why were we being told that for so long? Where did that come from that she lost her V-card to Nick in the... Where did that story come from? Do, do Does anybody remember where that story came from? Because I don't. Now that I think about it, I just... I remember it from the act, I think. Now I'm going to have to watch the act again because I know that's not like basically what really happened. We're finding out... What really happened now that, you know, Gypsy's got double jeopardy, but wow, this is just crazy. That she hadn't had, ac it actually didn't have any medical procedures since 2011. I guess 2011 was when they all stopped, the record stopped. And so she still had that tube, but she didn't use her feeding tube. They just left it in because, you know, most of the time from... What Fancy was saying, and I've heard this too, is that if a doctor didn't place something, they usually don't want to take it out because then they become liable for any complications that happen with it, right? So they usually just leave it alone if it's a, another doctor placed it or it's, you know, or especially if, I mean, it's in another doctor's care, like who gives a shit, you know? But she had that tube and just didn't use, hide. What a mess. What a mess. Like, I, I don't know. This, this case is weird. There's just so much to it. I, I, I don't think they could make a documentary. Or, uh, you know how they have all these documentaries? Like, I don't know if we could have enough documentaries to encompass how fucked this case really is. So, it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's sad, too. Like I said, it's like Gypsy never had a chance to be a normal person, you know, because of her abuse. It's really sad. So, uh, getting my shit together, getting our editing done. Oh, got a text message answering my messages. Yes, getting my hair did. Yes, actually, the ends aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Because uh, I... I you know when you before you put the wig on it's kind of still like knotted and shit and Especially this one gets knotted real fast. So like when I put it on it gets all fucked And so I'm like crap I'm gonna have to do a lot to this when I put it on and then it's like oh, it's it's fine. So yeah uh, Yeah One of those days maybe we can get out of the house later tonight. I don't know maybe not uh, we have a lot going on tomorrow, so it's like I probably should stay home and take it easy, but yeah. We have people coming into town this weekend. We have a big event we're going to go to. We have some people coming in. It's going to be fun. This event's going to be fun. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you, but yeah, it's going to be fun. So it's like two days, two days. So yeah, it should be a blast. I'm looking forward to it. Let me just tell you, there's going to be lots of glitter and lots of dance battles. Glitter and dance battles. There's your clues for where we're going. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun, so yeah. And then, oh, my, my tri-colored sweater that I ordered. Remember, I think I told you, you know my hoodie sweaters that you got this sweater well i ordered a tri-colored version of it it's supposed to be here today and that was our test order our test order we ordered that last saturday so it came like basically within the week which is pretty good since they have to you know embroider that fresh and print it fresh and they print it fresh oh i better answer those <laughs> so yeah that's what's going on today editing being mind blown that Gypsy lost her V-card not to Nick. I know, that's not a big deal. It's, who cares? But it's like, why Why were we told that in the first place? Was that just to help her in the trial? Was it? Because I, I don't know. I have my necklace on. I just... Bah. Come here. Get on. I just... What? There's just so many things where it's like, we were told something different about Gypsy. So why am I being told this now? 
Why am I being told something different now? I, I'm confused. I'm confused. Hello, how to put my glasses on. Allergies of kicking my ass this week. So, me and Philip got the video. It's uploading. It's uploading. Yay. So, I wanted to show you something that came across my um, mobile. Was this mobile? Yeah, this is my mobile page on my, when I was looking at YouTube on like, the phone. I watch YouTube on my phone. I watch YouTube on my iPad. I watch YouTube on the computer. I watch YouTube on the big TV. I watch YouTube everywhere, okay? I am YouTube obsessed. So they're always giving me experimentation things because I'm like a power user on YouTube. Like it's really ridiculous. You would freak to see how much YouTube I watch. That's why I'm recommending you shit because I watch so much of it. So yeah. I got this re shown to me on my home feed, and it's, focus on it, focus, okay. Craving something new, red, blue, green. Create a feed of videos based off color and enjoy exploring. So here is YouTube yet again fucking with our home page and the algorithm it it wants to make your home feed your recommended visually aesthetically pleasing it wants it to be aesthetically pleasing for you what what are you doing youtube so you're going to start recommending me videos based off of the color on the thumbnail so that my home feed looks aesthetically pleasing. Houston, I think we have a problem here. Like, I don't want to get recommended videos based off of the colors on the thumbnail. I want it to be content I'm actually interested in. Like... Who came up with this idea? Because then you would just have people making aesthetically pleasing thumbnails and the content could be shit. This is going to be a no for me, dog. Like, no. No, 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 no. I was going to say dude and then I said dog. But I just... This is going to be a fat no. This is a no. YouTube, Google, no, I do not want an aesthetically pleasing home feed. I want videos that I will watch. Videos I will watch. Like, aesthetically pleasing is, I don't know, how I decorate my home or something, which I could care less about sometimes. I still have Christmas up in my house. Why the fuck do you think, YouTube, that I would want an aesthetically pleasing home feed? I mean, Christmas is still happening in my home in February. It's February. I still have the fucking Christmas tree up. Do you think I give a shit about aesthetics, YouTube? I fucking don't. I don't. But yet, here is YouTube trying to get me to buy into having an aesthetically pleasing home feed. I'm not okay with this. And neither should you, <laughs> like, they're always experimenting with me and doing this crap and asking me how I like it. And I'm like, no, and I actually respond to this shit. And I'm like, no, I don't like this YouTube. Please stop. Please stop with this bullshit. Please stop. You're hurting yourself, YouTube. Please stop. Hey, and they have coffee for me, guys. Wow. <laughs> Who got this? <laughs> Sorry if this is blasting yours out, guys. Everyone loved my vlog last year. They were like, more of this. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. vlog again. But I'm gonna leave out anything we can't talk about. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Well, yeah, well, welcome to the updating of 2024. Uh, <laughs> and then we another review. Another review. I'm ready. I think I'm emotionally capable. <laughs> Here? No, I was really. We don't need to see those slides. Um, you know? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> They're going over my analytics to be like, this is mm -hmm. This is 
This is a bullshit meeting, Alicia. Who gives a crap? Here's the thing. Your views, are they auto views that were just like came up after a video? Are they quality subscribers? How many comments did you get? Yeah, and then you had to figure that into your analytics. I bet that was some fun ass math. What? Okay. Brand partnerships. See? Look, look, look. What is this right here? Right here. I didn't even expect this. Right here. I wanted to highlight these brand partnerships because these gave me the most fucking cut money. This was the fattest paycheck I got was from these brand sponsorships. Look at that. They kind of just were like deadpan going through everything else. And then as soon as we get... We want to highlight these sponsorships. I want to highlight this part of the vlog to point out this is my point. You know, you catch a lot of things when you watch shit back and you're not actually there being manipulated in real time. Look at this. Message 24 with 49%. Yeah. Yeah, your U.S. audience, yeah. I don't give a shit, yeah. Looking at the piece of fluff on the floor, yeah. Pretending to be interested, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excited because these are the checks I made. Yeah, look at her, look at her. Look how giddy she got when she said highlight brand spawn partnerships. Holy fuck. My cat even, my cat... Every time I'm talking about this shit, Frank comes over because he knows. I know you're not a cat person, Alicia, but even my cat is trying to tell you. This is bullshit. Did you see that woman light up? I know you're fucking watching me, Alicia. Did you see that? This is exactly what I have been pointing out to you this entire fucking time. This entire time, Alicia, this is what I've been pointing out. I know I know you watch. I watch my analytics. I am very small, even though I've been getting a lot of random views from Gypsy Rose. I am a teeny tiny channel, okay? When you're small, you can see a lot more shit on your back analytics than if you had a bigger audience like they're showing here, which she should be able to see regions. Why aren't they bringing up regions in the United States? Cities, because you can do that. You can bring up, that's how I know you're watching me, girl. You can bring up cities within a city. That's how I know you're watching, girl. Cities within a city, like neighborhoods. I'm not gonna dox you, but I know you watch, okay? I, I see it on my analytics. They didn't show you shit. Why aren't they going over regions in the United States? Because, two people have different mindsets. Like, see, I'm wearing fucking shorts right now. While the rest of the country is, like, bundled up. In, like, snow. You see the difference? There's a difference there. People who don't see the sun for months on end. I see the sun all the time. I'm so sick of it. It makes me angry sometimes, like it used to make foodie beauty angry, okay? I understand what it means to make the sun angry at you, but I don't stare at it and go out at it when I'm angry at it like foodie does, okay? So, girl, DM me, 
this was bullshit. This is exactly what I have been pointing out to you this entire time is that Alicia's management doesn't care about anything but sponsorships and sponsorships that make them money. They don't give a shit about your analytics. They go over them, but they really don't care. They're not showing you how to actually connect with your audience. That's what I want to help you with. How do you connect with people? People in a real way that matters. You can't learn that from math. I know, I live with a mathy person. There's no feelings in math. It is what it is. Analytics are analytics. There's no feelings in that. You need to learn how to connect with your audience and you suck at it. Seeing a um, this one person, which I don't know if they're a, a, a real person or not. Sometimes I question some of the profiles that comment on Alicia's videos, guys. Alicia, I, yeah. So, but when I see this like huge ass paragraph right here and you all you say is a, agreed a hundred percent that's not even a full sentence alicia that's not a full sentence oh wait that's not even you you didn't even you just hearted this oh my god oh there you go so you did write more what did you say? Appreciate your feedback and fully respect if you feel you need to unsubscribe. I tried my hardest. So what, is this a negative comment? I respect the fact that influencers work hard there. Is your, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had this fucking wrong, guys. I was wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong. I didn't read all of this. We're gonna read this. We're gonna read this, guys. Okay. I respect the fact that influencers work hard there, hard, and there is such a strong business portion in marketing yourself. Those are in quotation marks. Element. But I can just, but I just can't follow along anymore. You guys are so out of touch with reality. There's no focus on highlighting issues or sustainability. It's solely pushing product and consumerism. If you're going to meet with your team and pretend like what you discussing actually is of importance, why not explore areas of your content creation that actually works and giving back or using your platform to highlight areas that are avoided like importance of voting, mindful shopping habits, supporting local business, etc. And then there's a lot of people that said 100% agreed, blah, blah, blah. Where's Alicia's? Now, Alicia, appreciate your feedback and fully respect if you feel that you need to unsubscribe. I try my hardest to make everyone to make everyone content that they love, but I know I can't please anyone. It's not that you're not pleasing anyone, Alicia. It's that you're out of touch. Just like how my focus is right now. It doesn't want to focus on me, and my fucking iPad is out of touch because it doesn't want to stand up, god damn it. Making me take the Lord's name in vain, but it's that... You live in L.A. Like you said in the podcast, a shirt used, $15 shirt used to be expensive for you. And now it's changed. That's called out of touch. Look at the regions. They did not break down your regions there on your analytics. And then look at the income and the amount of poverty in those regions. India was on there. There's a lot of poverty in India. I know that. But if they broke down your regions and you saw where those views were coming from or your subscribers and you saw the breakdown of your subscribers in your regions and your geographic areas, you might get to know your audience a little better. See what the income levels are there. See what people are like there. You know, I don't know. That could be a fucking series, Alicia, that, hey, I looked at my analytics and it says that a large part of my audience is in this region and in this city. I'm going to go visit that city. 
That's not a pew pew, that's my air freshener. But you're gonna go visit that city. You know, to get to know your audience. Think about that. This is fucking crooked. Think about that. Alicia, you need to fucking DM me. I wanna help you, I wanna help you. I, you're a good person. You have something special. But people like your management, like this woman right here, who only cares about skim sponsorships because she gets a cut of that, does not care about you connecting with people. She does not care. And I can say that because I don't know her. I get it. She's a human being. You know her. You know her on a personal level. You went to her wedding. You went to her bachelorette party. Blah, blah, blah. She's a human being. I get, get that. She's a human being that needs to make money. She's a human being that lives in California where rent and property and all that is very expensive. The lifestyle is very expensive. I get it. But she doesn't care about you connecting with your audience, Alicia. Look at me. She does not care about you connecting with your audience like I care. Like your subscribers care. Like the woman who left the comment on here telling you you're out of touch. Because she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to take her time to let you know that you're out of touch. I live in the Coachella Valley. I am not far from you. I have added you. I can see that you watch my shit. Oh no, I don't know what you're talking about. He, he, he. Even my cat knows. Did you hear him? DM me. And sorry that I didn't fully read that comment. I really should be reading all the... Oh, my mom's home. My mom's home. Hold on. I gotta help her with the door here. Frank, you can't go out. Here, hold on. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> ah! Looks like my hoodie came. The tricolored hoodie. Ah! So yeah, Alicia. Alicia, DM me. DM me, okay? Like I said, your management doesn't want to help you out. They skim through your analytics, and that woman just, she glowed when she said, let's highlight your, your brand partnerships. Let's highlight all the money we made this year, not all the connections you made, okay? So let's open this up. <coughs> not editing that out. We all cough, God damn it. Oh, my video is uploaded. Let's unprivate that public. Public. And there we go. Look, see, I I daily vlog. I've been daily vlogging since Vlogmas. It's not hard. It's not been hard because I don't edit myself. I don't worry about how I look to people. And I do commend you for the way you handled that comment. That's great. But you need to learn to communicate in a meaningful way and not in an auto response way. Like when I've responded to people who didn't like what I said in my videos, it was usually a couple paragraphs. And then I, I, I would also try to respond to them as a human being. Like one lady didn't like my response about pick lines. And I actually, her comment about like them being a serious thing because you know, a doctor places them because it's a life and death thing. I agreed with all that. And then I let her know, hey, I hope you're doing well with your pick line. I hope you're doing well with your chronic illnesses. Because she's a human being that matters. And these are just kind of comments in a way. And there's a lot of nuances that get lost and stuff, you know. So, it's not that big of a deal. But let's check this out. Hopefully this came out the way I wanted it. Check that shit out, guys. Desert Mermaid, the tricolored. So this will be on the website. I think it already is on the website. I think it's already on the website. So this is on the website. It's the tricolored. And then it's the same as the other You Got This hoodies. I got the patch in the front. And then you got on the right wrist, You Got This. 
Isn't that nice? I always thought, I thought that was a nice touch to put on this because some, I know for me, like, when I've gone to have to go get, like, blood work done or a procedure done or something, it would be nice to have that. And a couple of years ago, when I started working on all this and working on getting better, ah, this is old. This is an old post-it, but I wrote this post-it a couple of years ago. And so I kind of took this old piece of nostalgia and put it into my my apparel which was my really like I feel like it's kind of like a way of making wearable art for people so yeah if you want to go check that out you can go there desertmermaid.com remember I said you know Shopify is being weird being kind of weird this week because it just launched so if it doesn't show up you can clear your cache your history your cookies or try another browser my friend said he tried another browser and it worked, so yeah. So yeah, Alicia, DM me please. I can help you, okay? That's the title of this. DM me Alicia Marie and Alicia Marie Vlogs. I can help you. I don't want money, I don't want clout. I, honestly, the, Gypsy Rose Cloud I think would work better than your clout. <laughs> like, everybody is, the analytics are sky high right now on Gypsy Rose right now. That's why everybody is doing videos about her because it's just, it's going crazy. It's like Gypsy Rose 24-7. And the Google Analytics, if you go look at that on Google Trends, it is going fucking nuts. So everybody's just doing videos about her. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it. it I care about you as a human being, just like I cared about that lady who commented with the pick line. Okay? Um, I started watching you a long time ago because I related to you. Um, I saw something in me that I saw in you. And maybe it was because we both grew up in Southern California. And I grew up here in the Coachella Valley. You grew up in Riverside. So maybe it's kind of like that we're both white girls growing up in Riverside County uh, maybe that's what it is I don't know but um I always feel like I see you like kind of like a couple steps like in what going through something that I've already been through or had to uh, face head on and um something that none of your friends go through because of just their backgrounds and walk us of life or whatever and maybe like I said maybe it's because I grew up broke ass in Riverside County kind of like you and that's why I feel like I relate to you a lot so I don't know but DM me I don't bite I live in the Coachella Valley I live close to where Coachella happens okay I can meet you at the Dutch Brothers I'll try to get there somehow since I don't drive. I don't know. And um, we talk about how you can connect with your audience. One way you could do that is show up more. I like that you put up more vlogs this week. That was great. Keep doing that like Remy. Remy's doing great. You guys got each other. Like, you can do this. You can do this. Don't edit yourself so much. And um, just talk. Just talk. Like, I just talk to the camera, just like I've been talking for the last 20 minutes. Just talk. Just talk. And DM me. Whoa. So, we're having Cheesecake Factory for dinner. <laughs> we decided to stay in, have a cozy night in, uh, have Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. So, yeah, I got chicken casoletta. I already divvied it up because it's like, you know, Cheesecake Factory with huge ass portions. So I already divvied that up. Your free movie, which is on your list, is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. It's free on YouTube. So I think they just posted it. So yay, go, go YouTube posting some great movies. So that's a pretty fun movie to watch. So there you go. It's not some shitty Lifetime movie. Oh, I'm tricking forks. And hold my pants up because they're falling down. Here's for Pat. Here's for me. But yeah, that's what we're watching tonight. I lose a guy in 10 days. I also linked this fireplace. It's a medieval 
fireplace little focus type type deal yeah tight moment tight moment low-key reminds me of Lord of the Rings such a great series so good books are good too you can have British youtubers read you the books now it's great so yeah the friend that goes to me said that he liked Lord of the Rings I think he lied I don't think he's ever read any of the books or seen like the movie like done the marathon like real fans like me and Patrick so yeah we're gonna eat I'm gonna link how to lose guy in 10 days for you yes Good morning. I look rough. <laughs> rough. So yeah. I gotta edit this because I gotta get ready so we can go to our thing today. But yeah, Alicia. Bullshit meeting. I even showed Patrick that last night. Yeah, no. Like that could have been done through Zoom. That he's a business person. This is someone with a doctoral degree in business administration with a finance concentration. More of an education in business than that management person who only lit up when they were talking about brand par partnerships because she's getting paid. I know you know her. I know you know her on a personal level and she's a human being and you like her. You need help from a subscriber. You need help connecting to people and that woman's not helping you connect. You DM me on Instagram and I will help you. I don't want clout. I don't want money. I don't want any of that shit. I just want to see your... I don't want to, I want to see less comments like I saw the other, yesterday, okay? I want to see you actually connecting with your audience. You can do it. So yeah, I got to edit this because I can do that. As always, I'm sending lots of love to everybody. I hope you guys have fun doing whatever you're going to do until I see you the next one, whether it's how to lose a guy in 10 days, sending me a DM, Alicia. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.